All right. All right. Uh, Shalom, uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give a peace, greetings and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in their faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adwan Ratazza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, is going to be basically on, you know, being, being aware of distractions, all right? Because Babylon, all right, this whole world is full of distractions. I just try to take you away from the truth man and try to take you away from you know really locking in the spirit man locking in the spirit and power of your Bashimah Shah, locking into this word you know locking into the videos all right this ministry all right all right you got to be aware of where your mind be at man all right actually let me get to, let me go to this this is the book of um a, a wise man wise opportunity of leisure Leisure. Yeah, all right. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, and verse Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, and verse 24. It says, The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he that have little business shall become wise. All right. Uh, he that have little business shall become wise. Why? Because uh, you be locked in, man. Opportunity of leisure, meaning reading. All right. Being me reading. All right. Being locked in the spirit, man. All right. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter one. In verse. Three, it says, blesses he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. All right, so blessed is he that readeth. All right, so you got to be reading, man, you know, reading more, you know. You know, talking to myself first and foremost on reading, getting into that history, watching for prophecies, you know, reading, watching for prophecies, made, you know. I be occupied in prophecies, as the scripture says. Blessed, I read, again, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that keep the words of this prophecy. And keep those things and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. All right. They got these distractions, man. These wicked um, uh, uh, hot holidays that they that they um, that Esau push out. All right. You got fucking um, uh, Halloween, you know, things, things stealing. I got so-called Christmas, so-called New Year's, Valentine's Day. You know, they got President's Day, Labor Day, all these fucking distractions that get our people, you know, um, well, that's the Lord, you know, blinding, blinding them. All right. And, they, and they're they're giving more attention right, to this world than giving attention to Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. You know, and the Lord is a jealous power. All right. That's why the Lord says, seek him. All right. The Lord says, seek him while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. All right, and that's our jobs as as servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, this is the book of um, Sirach. Chapter twenty, chapter five. This is the book of Sirach, chapter five, in verse seven. It says, "Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day." So you're not supposed to make no tearing to turn to the Lord. You're not supposed to put off from day to day, man. I all oh, oh, that 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 procrastination spirit because Jake had that procrastination spirit. Oh, I'll do a video, all right, um, tomorrow. You know, I'm kind of jammed up and stuff. You know, I'm I'm, I'm kind of tired from work. We all tired, all right. But we our first job, our job as servants of Yahweh Shema Shaz is to push this ministry, all right. Push this word, man. Prophesy. I Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. All right, let me hold that on deck, man. All right. All right. 
This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of the in the day of vengeance, man. You so you putting off day to day. One day, all right, goes into three days. Three days goes into a week. A week goes into all right, two weeks. All right, then then it's like three months in, you ain't you ain't doing nothing, man. You lukewarm. You actually you cold. And the Lord gonna spew you out of his mouth. All right. You got so much going on in your life. All right. Which which we which we have things going on in our life, you know. We have to work. We have to put bill we have to uh pay our bills, man. All right. Help our help our family out. All right. But that's that shouldn't, you know, overwhelm you that you ain't that you're not doing the work, man. All right. There's a balance in, in everything, man. All right. And this place is full of distraction, man. You just had a Super Bowl. All right. You got you got NBA trades. All right. <laughs> that they just push, they, you know, just push. You got social media. All right. All right. And, and one one who's not uh, who's not a, um, in this hat, who don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Asha, they'll think this place is continue going as normal, man. All right. They're not they're just watching social media, um, uh, NFL, sports, distraction, just like ancient Rome, you know, the Coliseums, you know, the celebrities, Kanye West, Kim K, all this bullshit, man. All right. Not knowing Russia, <laughs> Russia about to invade Ukraine. All right. There's war talks. All right. There's floods happening. All right. That's why you have to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Let's get this precept. This is the book of uh, John. St. John chapter 21 and verse. This is the book of jo uh, John chapter 21 and verse 14 says, This this is now the third time that Yahweh shall show himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead because our Lord was crucified and the Heavenly Father rose him from the dead. And we trying to be all right, and we are followers of our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, and we believe, you know, the Lord Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, raised them from the dead, man. And those who who so called die in the Lord, they're gonna be risen first, man. All right, with the Lord, and those who are, who's here, they're gonna be caught up in the cloud with them in the chariot, man. Verse fifteen, it says, "So when they had died, Yahweh Shai said unto Simon Peter, which was the head of the church, which is King David, if you can receive it." Simon, son of Joseph, which is was king, which is King Masha, says, Son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs, man. So we gotta feed them with what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I will give you passes according to my heart, and they shall feed you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I think that's Jeremiah 3 and 15. Verse 16, he said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. All right, so he said unto him, All right, the second time. Verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And how shall I said, uh, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Feed my sheep. And that's our job, man. To feed the sheep, you know, occupied in prophecy, man. Don't be distracted from this world, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, women everywhere. All right. That's why the Lord said, sow to the spirit, man. Don't don't sow to the flesh. Cause the 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 life, this life, the pride of life. Let me get that. First John chapter two and verse fifteen, it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." So we gotta put off that that flesh, you know, you know the cares of this world, because the Lord said, "The fashion of this world faded away." Man, love not this world, man. The Lord about to nuke this bitch. All right, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Verse verse sixteen. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. 
you know. You know, the lust of the flesh, you always want to, you know, get women, all right. All right, got a, got a money getting demon, you know. That's why you got to be locked in the spirit because this world will take you, man. The lust of the eyes, you know, you anything you see you want. We in captivity. It says in the pride of life. All right, these people are very prideful. It's not of the father, but it's of the world. Verse 17, the world, so in the world passes away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Hashim Hashad abide forever, you know. So, Lord willing, we continue doing the will of the Lord and abide forever, man. Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh by Hashim is not mocked. For whatsoever, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not, man. All right, so we got to continue laboring that we may enter into the rest. Let me see. There's a Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 11. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9 says, There remain a death way rest to the people of the Most High. All right, there's a rest that's coming for us. For he that entered, for he that is entered into his rest, he also have ceased from his own works as the Most High did from his. Verse 11 says, Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbeliefs all right so we got to labor to enter into that rest man all right and that's supposed to make excuses like like uh the followers all right the ones who was following the house and they made excuse man luke chapter 14 and verse 16 says then said he unto him a certain man made a great supper and bade many and sent his servants at separate times to say to them, to stop. So like it says, and there's certain men, our Lord, how shy. It says, and set, and set his servants at supper time to say to them that are bidden, come for all things are now ready. Verse 18 says, and they all with one consent begin to make excuse. All right. The Lord said, send the servant that supper time, say to them that are bidden, come for all things are ready. He said, come to the come to the marriage. All right, come to the supper. All right. And come to the supper. It says, uh, verse 18, it says, and they all with one consent begin to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground. He nigga got distracted. And I must needs to go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen. All right. So the one said, I bought some land. I got to go see it, man. One said, I, I bought five yokes of oxen. You know, cattle says, and I I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excuse. Verse 20. And another said, I, ha I have married a wife. He in that fucking Valentine spirit. And therefore I cannot come. So the servant so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said unto his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in, bring in hither the poor and maimed and halt and blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded me, and yet there is room. Verse 23 says, And the Lord of that servant saw, and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. And that's what we do. We go out on the highways and hedges. And compelled them to come in that my house may be filled. Verse 24. It says, For I say unto them, so for I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. All right. Verse 25. And there was great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto him, If any man come to me and hate not his father, meaning detest. Because right, the scripture says, Honor thy father and thy mother. But if they're doing things contrary for you pushing the truth, you gotta you gotta you gotta step away from them, man. Cause his truth is first. He hate not his father and his mother and his wife and children and brethren and sister. Yea, in his own life also he cannot be my disciple. 
And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my cannot be my disciple. All right, you gotta bear your cross, your burdens. Verse twenty-eight: For which of you intended to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to whether he have sufficient to finish it. So when you come in, you gotta count the cost. All right, you gotta know all right what you going in, what you going in. All right. All right, you're gonna lose you're gonna lose certain things. All right. All right, you gonna you gonna have tribulation. Right, it's all about it's all about the ministry. All right, and you gotta count the cost. Of it. What do you sign up for? All right, you gonna lose you gonna lose your woman. All right, but the Lord gonna give you another one. All right, and you gotta count the cost, man. Are right, you gonna be able to finish? Verse twenty nine says, "At least halfly after he have laid a, laid a foundation, and is not yeah, you gonna be hated of all men for the name of the Lord, man." It says, for which of you intended to build a tower and sit it not down first and count at the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, at least happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. All that behold him begin to mock. Yeah, you started working. And now you can't finish. You don't got, you, you know. All right. You're not enduring. All right. Or you can put it in the sense of you building, but you don't even you don't even got the, the, the money to finish. All right, the project, man. You you bought you you spent your budget. You didn't budget right, you know. All right. And right, they gonna begin to mock you. Verse thirty says, saying, "This man have, this man begin, to build and was not able to finish. Or what war? Sorry, or what king goeth to make war against another king? Sitting not down first and and consult is whether he is able with ten thousand to meet." Him that cometh against him with twenty thousand, yeah, say them. They got twenty thousand. I got ten thousand. Mm, I might lose this war. All right, but you consult. You you considering this? You considering this situation? All right. Verse 30, 32. Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sending his uh, his ambush, embassage, and desire conditions of peace. All right. He said, "All right, fuck. I'm gonna go make make a peace make a peace treaty with him." All right, verse twenty, uh, verse thirty three. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake of not all that he have, he cannot be my disciple, man. So it's all about putting his word first, man. Don't be distracted by these by this place, man. Because every day it gets it gets that 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 vibration, you know. Try to take you, man. Because the scripture said we we fret, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, wickedness in high places, man. That's what we fighting against. All right. So that's why we had to have that shield of faith in the prayer, like the apostles always say, prayer. I right, that Psalms fifty one. Lord, take that away, my Holy Spirit. All right. And we pray those things, and we caught, it's about enduring too, man. You know, don't be caught up in the in this hype, man. Because why? This fast in this world faded the way, you know. So Lord within this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give a uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom Akim, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.